Hey, Canapreneurs. This week's show is sponsored by Dairy Berry's Recording Studio. Open up, Colorado. It's 420. Time to grind and burn. This is not your son, Stoner Show. Welcome back to the Cannabis Community Project. I am Brainstorm, bringing you your weekly broadcast podcast from the CCP studios high up in Denver, Colorado, exploring the business side of this newly emerging Colorado economy, here focusing on the patient, the retailer, to the geek in the garage, creating the next innovation in business. This is the first media platform to let fellow canopreneurs just like you build sustainable business models while living the lifestyle. Hey, do you like what you hear so far on the show? Do you want to be part of the show? Do you have something to contribute or maybe just some thoughts? You can contact us going straight to the web page. We do have a phone number, but send us an email. Send us an email. We'll get in touch with you. We're here to talk about all the issues at the front of this industry, everything from health to legal, food, music, growing, and of course, technology, everything cannabis related. We always like to start the show off with a quick short-term memory flashback to last week for all of the newcomers and also for all of us whose memories aren't quite functioning like they used to be. A little help to go back, take a couple minutes to remember what we learned last week, and if you didn't hear the episode, take a couple minutes to get the gist of it and then go back, listen to the full thing, and when you do, make sure to click follow, like, and share with your friends. Please only share with close friends. I don't want this to be a difficult issue for most of you. If you're here to support the show, just do what you're doing anyways on social media. Scroll down, you see it mentioned, hit the like button, hit the share button. Let's quickly go back to last week's very fun week at the Cannabis Cup. If you were there, if you weren't there, see if you can get the sense of what it was like to be in a very packed atmosphere, a very large environment, uh, the building, if you've ever been up there, Denver Merchandise Mart, but packed to the core and people just smoking everywhere you look. Products, businesses, the whole deal, very fun, very informative. Here's a quick last week's Canvas Cup. Grind and burn, Canapreneurs. We're down here. We finally made it to the Canada Cannabis Cup 2014 at the Denver Mart here. I am standing back looking at roughly, I don't know, I'd say 300 or more booths out there. And each one of them is full of samples, supplies, merchandise. This is truly a crazy scene. We're in front of the HMO Plus, HMO P-L-U-S-S dot com booth. The All Season Chiba Huts is the product they brought down today, a big shed. We're going to have our studio set up here, but we're going to walk around and we're going to see all the different booths that are out there. We're about to finish up our demo here. Actually. Excellent. So what booth are we standing in front of here? We'll actually make an extractor called the Motopot. $40 and something you can put one stick of butter into with uh, 7 grams, a quarter ounce of marijuana, or trimmings, decarboxylated, or even uh, vaporizer residue. And look, it's coming. There it is. What's it doing? It's, that's the butter that's infused, and it's coming from the bottom chamber to the top chamber. Very cool. Yeah, thanks for dropping by. How's it going? What's your name? Todd Davis. Todd Davis, and who are you with? I'm with Endex Corporation. Endex has a, uh, a suite of technology solutions for medical marijuana management. Uh, we have a, a, start, a seed to sale tracking and compliance platform for growers, processors, retail, and dispensaries. And secondly, we have gateway dispensing machines that are pharmaceutical grade, commercial apparatus. Really, like the old cigarette machines? Yeah, they would have to be a member of a retail shop or a dispensary to verify the age, to verify the, that it's the right person getting the product. So you'd scan your red card. Yeah, you scan and your red card. Also, we're a publicly traded corporation under the symbol EDXC. Oh, excellent, man. 
Cannabis Exchange. How you doing? Hi. You want to give a shout out to your business? Sure, yeah. This is Kenna. This is the Cannabis Commodities Exchange. It's an online wholesale marketplace for uh, licensed marijuana businesses in Colorado only. If you have a surplus of product, you would throw it on the market for other people to buy wholesale. Uh, if you're in, the, in need of product, you could go to the market and search for a product that you want. We have everything, or we list everything from flour to seeds, tinctures, edibles, concentrates, etc. Uh, we don't handle the products. We're just creating the platform for them to use. Cool. That's that sounds very cool. What's the exact website where they can find you? It is www.cannaxchange.com. That's C-A-N-N-A-X-C-H-A-N-G-E.com. That's craziness as I walk through the crowd. Shoulder to shoulder, but not too bad. I imagine it's going to get a little bit busier later on in the night. The outside is more of a festival actually happening. It looks like a gambling tent. There's a, a money grab booth. What are you guys all waiting in line for? Get a blunt. How long have you been waiting? Uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes for one blunt? All right, so we just got our first free hit of the day. I might be a little lost to where I was. I got a little turned around. Let's see if I can find my way back. All right, so that was officially my my third dab. Right, I'm definitely high now. So no, I, I would say on the outside area right now, we're probably looking at close to 20,000 people in the back part. That was the 2014 Denver Cannabis Cup. If you weren't there, get the full show and you'll feel like you were there. We'll be out there next year and we're going to find all the other events cannabis related to get ourselves involved in. So all you have to do is keep listening to us and you'll be up to the date with all the events and the happenings and everything that's coming through town that's cannabis related. We'll get involved. We'll relay it back to you here on the show. Feeling guilty about a time with cannabis? Get it off your chest and confess it on Canafessions, your public forum to absolve your soul. New voice message, Wednesday, 4.21 p.m. Some friends and I were staying in Austin, Texas for the South by Southwest Music Festival. We were sharing a hotel room and we were doing pretty well with it smoking one after the other. Well, much has happened. So we called the uh, local Chinese food delivery place, ordered up some food and smoked some more while we were waiting for it to arrive. Finally, the delivery guy shows up and uh, hands us the food. We hand him the money. And he looks at us, looks at me, looks at my friend, looks back at me, and the dead serious expression says, you making fun of me or something? And uh, we all started laughing. Of course, we weren't making fun of him, but it's hard to prove that when you're laughing in his face. And uh, so, needless to say, we gave a guy a big old tip and he left. But that's my cannabis. And that was Canafessions. If you have a confession to make, contact me via Facebook or the website at CannabisCommunityProject.com. <laughs> Save those not in love, though I decide. 
decide to go in the world Listen to what I have to say I'm here to save you from the right left and in the size of gray Why aren't you doing what needs to be done? Don't you see their plan to steal your son? So I decided to take over the world today Change the truth that is shown Life and hope are not the street On a long term Are you ready to get into the meat of this week's show? Twin news this week in news. You know, many people ask me, why do I do news segments? Do I really expect people to tune in or be interested in my regurgitated social media news? Well, I do it for many reasons. One, I think it's very important that people understand what is going on in the world of cannabis. It's important because if we're going to be part of the industry starting businesses or patients or just advocates and supporters, we should know what's going on. So I find it almost obligatory. I'm not a reporter. I don't work with any journalists. So most all the articles I'm actually picking out and reporting are things that almost exclusively support my, my view and how I want this show to portray things. I'm definitely searching all the networks out there to get the best of the best news there. Twin News, This Week in News. First up, we have a new beginning, which is going to be our very own Classifieds, Canifieds, where you can send in a message or an email or leave me a voicemail of something cannabis-related that you'd like to throw up on your own Classified section for somebody else out there in the community to reach out and communicate with you. This week, we have a piece of property that is up for sale or possible lease looking for hemp growers or possible other use. There is a picture that I can send you through Google Maps of the approximate outline of the property. There is a 20-foot diameter concrete foundation and an old silo. There's a fence, and it's at County Road 2.5A. It's been previously used for winter wheat or organic farming. Pikes Peak can be seen to the west. If you'd like a specific location or contact with this individual, contact me at the Cannabis Community Project website. Send me an email, and we'll just do some basic, uh, basic, you know, due diligence and verification, and then we'll get you in touch, and you'll be on your way to owning your own property to start your own hemp farm or... Or other use. There you go. If you have a classifieds, cannabis classifieds, canifieds that you would like to send in and let me announce to the community on air, let me know. Do it all through the website at cannabiscommunityproject.com or via Facebook, Google Plus, or if you have my secret phone number, you can even call me. Moving on. Cannabis Health Today sharing a photo. What's wrong with this picture? Showing a photo to the left of cannabis. Marijuana has 34 cures for cancer and is not FDA approved. Picture to the right, a balding chemotherapy cancer patient. Chemotherapy was discovered by poisoning people with mustard gas and is FDA approved. Yeah, what is wrong with that picture? Also posting top 10 health benefits of cannabis. Very quickly, I'll give you the one in the 10. Number one, inhibits tumor growth. Number 10, reduces stress and promotes relaxation. Hey, man, chill. Marijuana Policy Project, quote, I think people can at least appreciate the sensibility behind the position I have. It is not pro-marijuana. 
It is common sense. Meet the congressman whose district grows most of your weed. California Rep. Jared Huffman on Trespass Grows. You can find that originally on Mother Jones or reposted on Marijuana Policy Project. MarijuanaDoctors.com posting, Do you juice? A cup of can of juice is something everyone should have every day. Can you imagine how healthy you'd be? There is no controversy about this. Cannabis itself in the raw form, the plant form has many, many health and vitamin benefits and nutritions. They even sell it in Costco. They sell hemp in Costco. So let's not argue about that. Naturalnews.com posting Luke Rudinkowski's photo. Luke Rudinkowski interviews the health ranger in New York City on the power of decentralized information and activism. He got tired of the FDA working for big corporations and started his own lab and is doing their job for you independently. There's a video that you can read about it all posted on naturalnews.com facebook page Did you hear about this one cannabis law reform posting about the prime minister prime minister must stop fighting the futile war on drugs originally posted by the telegraph originally posted by the telegraph stating david cameron must abandon the futile war on drugs if he is to win over young voters and it's interesting how they're here internationally there seems to be this similar mind to policy except for these little pockets of places like like uruguay and portugal and a few other places amsterdam colorado uh, vancouver a few other places in the world that that get it but other than that the world seems to have an international policy which only can lead to a conspiracy but regardless of all that people need to just pay attention to what is happening in mexico and what has happened in mexico over the last i don't know 10 years if even that but how this devastation on the country this war on drugs has caused a true war to break out within the country of mexico because of drugs it is insane violence the same insanity of violence that we see in every other drug stricken place whether we're talking about alcohol or we're talking about uh, crack epidemics or anything else when you have illegality based around drugs, extreme violence breaks out. Because drugs... To be honest, I, I'm a supporter of the movement that drugs is a healthcare issue, a health movement, not a criminal one. So when you make it a criminal one and you make it part of that system, violence breaks out because it, it's the square trying to fit in the hole, the round hole. It doesn't fit. It causes friction. So the insanity of this war on drugs is only to the blindness of the media and to the public to what is truly going on with the war, where people are dying and families being ripped apart and whole towns. My wife comes from one of the most violent places in Mexico, Michoacan, where literally the narcos have taken over entire towns with kidnapping, extortion. Drugs is almost becoming a back burner issue, a secondary issue, because now it's just criminal activity. The drugs was the beginning genesis of where the money was and what people were following. But then the soured money just led to criminal activity, which breeded criminal. So now it's just about criminal activity, extortion. Distortion, thuggery, kidnap. Drugs is one of those things on the checklist, but inevitably everybody knows it's going to go away. Once marijuana is wiped out, cartels will be virtually bankrupt because the other drugs being produced and trafficked are minuscule in percentages of usage. The users using methamphetamines and ecstasy and all these other drugs is tiny compared to the actual market of marijuana. So once legalization takes hold across and the market is wiped out, the narcos will have to go to some other tra- type of traffic so what do gangsters do what they all do in any country in any culture they extort they thuggery they murder and mayhem we need to change the culture by changing the economics let's no longer make it the most affordable the most advantageous the most registered the most sought after job for young people to make money to get themselves out of their poverty or or working for five cents uh, an hour or whatever type wages they have. I've seen it. People literally working for 10 pesos an hour, 20 pesos an hour, which is the equivalent to one or two dollars. And the story of, oh, well, their country doesn't need that much or their lifestyle is different. (laughs) 
You haven't been to Mexico. Some of the wealthiest gap of people live there, along with some of the poorest. But it is not a third world country, and things do not cost pennies on the dime. Things need to change. That's all the news you need to know this week. And that was Twin News, This Week in News, your weekly source for up-to-date cannabis. This week's show is brought to you by HMO Plus. For all your growing needs, visit them at www.hmopluss.com. Sweet smile, but I forget your name. Met you once, but I'm not to blame. Drinking hand and it's a shame That I'm not better A hand to hold when I feel sweet And then there's cold and then there's me Look out for 23 Maybe I'll be better Ooh, no, 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 no. And it's Thanks for listening to this week's show. Make sure to come back next week. We're going to have even more guests lined up, speaking with dispensary owners, growers, business owners, even musicians for more of our Musicpreneur episodes. Make sure to follow us on all of the social media, Facebook, Kush Common, Google+. You can listen to our shows live from the website or your preferred listening platform. Find us on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Spreaker, even YouTube, all under the same name, CannabisCommunityProject.com. We'll see you next week. Come on.